Think of today's wrestler comments as parts of your huge sumo jigsaw puzzle. Most of them will be short, for they don't want their foes to learn anything other than the obvious. On their own, the comments might help you make better sense of a match you just saw. But if you commit them to memory, and put them together with other comments you've heard, you'll better understand the matches you're about to see. That's when watching sumo gets really interesting. For example, on Sunday, one wrestler told NHK he had to finish matches quickly because his chronic hip pain makes longer bouts impossible. Yesterday, coach Isegahama noted that another wrestler rushes forward too quickly without developing a proper belt grip. We know, from previous information we've heard, that this other wrestler also has bad hips. So putting all the comments together, we wonder if this wrestler is also unable to fight long bouts now. If so, how will he find the balance between needing to win quick and waiting for a sound belt grip? Can he secure that grip faster? Will he start thrusting instead? These thoughts make us far more invested in the bout, right? So, that's why I continue with this type of video. With my favorite wrestlers trying so hard in such conditions, there's no way I'm taking things easy. The latest issue of Sumo magazine tells us that Asano Yama rather struggles against aggressive thrusters. Although he'd beaten today's opponent Dai Eisho twice in a row, he had lost seven in a row to him before that. Columnist Taro Arai noted that when Asano Yama comes out all guns blazing, he tends to pump too much momentum into the upper body, leaving him ripe for a Dai Eisho slapdown. He should make firm and steady initial contact, elbow pin if necessary, and not worry about giving ground early on. He's strong enough not to be pushed to the rope, Arai wrote. By implication, then, Dai Eisho needs to avoid the elbow pin by hitting high and try to encourage Asanayama to overcommit by opening up a gap. You've watched his matches, I'm sure you all knew that. So today, what did we see? Asanayama making firm and steady initial contact with the forearm smash, Dai Eisho keeping his elbows high when thrusting to the neck and face, trying to create distance either by pushing his foe back or stepping away after landing a shot. He expected Asanayama to lunge forward for the belt, perhaps secure his beloved inside right. What he didn't expect was for the Ozeki contender to bridge the gap with his longer reach and mount a thrusting attack of his own. Even so, experiences from last July and September tell him he has a chance if he sidesteps at the edge, so he does. But Asanayama also expects this, and several recent training photos show him preparing for precisely this situation, taking giant strides across the dokyo with feet at 45 degree angles. He's perfectly prepared for any sideways movement, and clips Dai Eisho over the edge. He doesn't say much in his post-match interview, of course, but he gives us a further jigsaw piece. My mentality is to go forward, so my hands just naturally came out in front of me. My calm approach meant I could foresee his possible escape routes. Asanayama implies he didn't last year, that something about his game has changed. Let's enjoy observing those changes. We'll be here all night if we analyze everything in such detail, so let me just give you the remaining quotes and let you have fun piecing things together. After beating Takayasu in his last bout as a 34-year-old, sumo supercomputer Hakuho said, I'm seeking a winning combination or chance based on the flow of the bout. However, Chairman Hakaku opined that Hakuho does not look in peak condition and now needs intricate strategies to cover for a clear lack of dynamism. NHK pundit Kitano Fuji, who once coached Hakaku, claimed the Yokozuna was breathing heavily and fighting more desperately than before. Following a force-out victory over Okinomi, Yokozuna Kakuryu said, Thanks to my concentration, I could grab the belt firmly. Chairman Hakaku added, If your tachi eye is that strong, you can develop that kind of flow.
Enho, after losing what has been described as a wrestling-style grapple with Yutakayama, said, I had no spark today. He got hold of me really well. There was just not enough in my locker. Yutakayama is particularly good at following Enho's movements and responding. I was aiming to get him to pull me in first, he said, and my patience trumped his. Mitake Umi, after handing Shodai only his seventh defeat in 33, said, That was my style of sumo today. I persevered and just kept going forward. Asked how he'd reacted to his first run of successive losing scores, brought about by a crushing defeat to Shodai just six weeks ago, he said, I've gone back to the drawing board and thrown away my pride. Now that's about all we have for now, as the restrictions placed on journalists seem to be draining them of the energy to seek multiple interviews. Koto Shoho is 3-0 and in Division 2 after showing real bottle in training, that jigsaw piece coming another time, and Uda continues his steady climb with two early wins in Division 4. Get puzzle solving, and see you tomorrow. <laughs>